Bam! Boom! Bam! Yeah, that's what I'm doing today. Not you! But we're wacky. This song is genius. Legitimately, it's one of my favorite songs right now. I have added it to my playlist. I listen to it in the car. I listen to it when I'm like just in my room and I, it's just so good. A Vocaloid song which portrays emotions very well. And it's all because a genius is behind the song. Wowacker. Wowacker has done such an amazing job with this song and it's, it's just too good. So. I just first want to thank you guys. Legitimately, all the support you guys have given me for my previous video has been mind-boggling. Goddamn bonkers. I, 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 I appreciate it so much. So, so much. I've been struggling to figure out what I want to do, and this has made me realize that I want to stick with Japanese music. Now, I know that there is English Vocaloid, uh, French Vocaloid, and I also learned that there's Filipino Vocaloid. That's fucking awesome. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing Japanese music and Vocaloid on this channel. And your guys' support on my previous video was just so great. I really appreciate it so much. And everyone talking about Wawaka and just how... You know, he's such an amazing person to them and like, you know, I, this guy is so influential and it's great. So thank you guys for just your insane support. I appreciate it so much. Okay, back on topic. Okay, so what is this song about? Well, at first I thought it was a love song. Kind of is, but I am wrong. It's actually why Wawaka left Vocaloid. Because I learned that at some stage in his career, he decided to leave Vocaloid because he wasn't getting the recognition that he deserved. It was Hatsune Miku. And I gotta say, that is fair enough. That would leave such a mental toll on you that you were like, wow, no, no, I would not want it. But I kind of did have it at one point. I'm not trying to be, oh, you know, it was for me. I'm just letting you guys know that it happens to people, and it happened to me when I was doing K-pop videos. People only cared about K-pop, like their K-pop groups. They never cared about me. I tried to make different videos for them that were like, you know, just a new thing for K-pop. There wasn't reactions, and people did not care about me. They would like comment saying, oh, this isn't a video on this person. I'm unsubscribing, and I'm like, huh. People didn't care about me, and I don't want to know what it was like for Wawaka, because that is a different level. His, like, it would have been just such a mental toll on him. And I don't want to imagine that because for me, I was breaking down crying almost every night. And I don't want to know what it did for him. I just don't. So that's what this whole song is about. It's about Wawaka wanting his recognition. Re, 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 recognition. And he will entrust telling the story through Hatsune Miku's voice. I wonder if it's okay to try and entrust those feelings unknown to all upon this voice one more time. Which is beautiful. Essentially, the thing that made him quit Vocaloid was the thing that he loved. Oh! Now, I may have offended some people because of this. I copied the tags that I used for it into the description, and someone read it and got offended that I didn't uh, credit the producers, and I, I am sorry about that. I just didn't know that it was that much of a issue with the Vocaloid community, so I am sorry about that, but I will not be changing that. I'm going to be leaving that mistake in the previous video to show you guys that I have learned, and I will be moving on to being more learned. Hmm. Yeah, basically I just want to show you guys that I can improve as a person and continue to learn, so that mistake will be in the previous video. Still sorry about that, but it is what it is. I now knew the mistake, and it's because of this song. So anyways, why is it called Unknown Mother Goose? I don't know. <laughs> but if you search up Mother Goose meaning on Google, it comes up with an old woman who is supposed to have written nursery rhymes. So maybe that is what Miku is to Wawaka, which is unknown to us? Because Miku was able to help give birth to Wawaka's ideas through her, her voice? So maybe that's why I'm not too sure. But that's my idea and I'd like to share it with you. But now, it's time to talk about why the song. As much as this song goes around with different tempos, would you believe me if I said it was stable? It's got recognizable repeating patterns, which returns to music from earlier in the composition. But the thing that makes this truly genius for me is the tempo. That changes drastically, but what's so genius about it is that I believe it aligns with Wawaka's thoughts. Slash emotions. Ah, 
an eyelash win in my eye. <laughs> oh. uh, <laughs> I'm tearing up, bro. <sighs> Where was I? Uh, tempo aligning, we're well, working forwards, we're well, working forwards. Oh my god. So at this point here, when the tempo speeds up, I believe it's Woraka desperately wanting to let his forwards out. And then straight after that, it slows down to him accepting it. And I find that so goddamn genius and amazing, and it happens throughout the entire goddamn song, and I love it. Oh. And the way Woraka utilizes Miku's voice is insane! You can't tell me that when you first heard this part here, you weren't blown away. The voice synthesizer being able to do that because of Woraka's talents is amazing. Full stop. End of story. Story continues because he could probably make my fart sound sexy. Full stop. End of story. That's the type of talent I'm talking about. He can make my fart sexy. I can't. Just the way that this whole song is made is just so beautiful. So this might sound a bit, a bit weird, but his journey ended with that song but it's the start of one of my journeys with him. And I can't wait to go through all of his future songs. And something that I noticed was, in the lyrics, he referenced Rolling Girl. And when I first heard the song, it kind of just rolled past me, you know? I didn't understand the reference until I went through and read the lyrics. And the lyrics just, is so amazing. And when he referenced Rolling Girl and I realized what Rolling Girl was about, that hit deep. It, made me realize, wow, like, you know, it, it affects him this much. Um, you know, the recognition that he wants and that he wasn't getting hit him so much to the point where, you know, he would, it, like, just all the small parts and details and references in the song, the way he utilizes um, Miku's voice and just everything is just so genius. Like, Woraka has my praise and this is one of the first songs I've listened to from him. I can't wait to get into his previous songs. It's just, it's just good. It's just straight up good. And then I found an English version of the song. An English version by Rachi. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. But this song made it so much easier for me to understand. And if you haven't listened to it, I freaking recommend it. Almost did a swear swear, even though I've probably sworn a few times in this video. That's fucking amazing. Oh. But I highly recommend you guys to listen to this song. It's made it so much easier to understand what Woraka was going through and how it just meant so much to him. It's just great. It's great to just listen to this song. Plus, the music video is freaking amazing! And this is another thing I want to talk about. Not the English music video, but Woraka's music video. It is just a still frame of heart. I can't I can't believe I forgot what the word was. Embezzled? A embezzled heart? Anyways, an embezzled heart, probably wrong. <laughs> with a swirl in it and a part chipped off. And I gotta say, this one image is just genius. Starters, grayed out heart, shows that sadness. Second, part of the heart chipped off, which people reference to his acute heart disease, which killed him. So maybe he knew about it and put it in the song, but also I think it's that a piece of his heart is broken, but it can easily be put back together. That's kind of what I'm thinking it is. And then the swirl in the center is also so goddamn cool. It's just his swirl of emotions over this entire topic. And I, I just find it so genius. Like the more you actually look into this song, the more you realize how insanely talented Woraka is. I love it so much. I just do. But yeah, that's me talking about uh, Unknown Mother Goose. It is a genius song, a great song, and I cannot wait to listen to future Woraka songs. It is just, it's amazing, it's amazing. And I'm sorry about my mistake of not knowing the producer's recognition was that important to the community. I have learned from that mistake. So thank you all for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I'm just, I'm just going away. I'm just leaving you guys behind. I'm just, I'm, I'm over here now. I'm just, I gotta go over there. So I'm just gonna go out of frame. You guys do what you want. I'm just gonna end the video of me not being in frame anymore. I hope you guys all have a great day.
keep smiling, and of course, I hope you guys remember what I always say at the end of each video. Peace. Jesus bloody Christ! Jesus bloody Christ! Die! I can't burn it! Die you unholy thing! Ah! No! Stop it! Please! I don't like this! Ow! Follow me on Twitch if you want more. Twitch.tv forward slash I'm LJL. See ya.